HelloFresh takes the guesswork and the extra hassle out of planning and preparing delicious meals for dinner. America's number one meal kit, HelloFresh gives you over 40 recipes to choose from each week. And then your farm fresh pre-portioned seasonal ingredients arrive at your doorstep with simple instructions to help you feel like the master chef of your kitchen. And did you know that HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% less expensive than takeout? HelloFresh has been an awesome addition to our household's dinner routine. We all get involved and cook together following the pictured step-by-step instructions. It's a fun quality time and the meals are delicious. Give it a try and see for yourself. Go to HelloFresh.com slash 50 having it all and use code 50 having it all for 50% off plus free shipping. Again, to get 50% off plus free shipping, go to HelloFresh.com slash 50 having it all and use code 50 having it all. Lucky Land Casino asking people what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? Lucky? In line at the deli, I guess? Aha, in my dentist's office. More than once, actually. Do I have to say? Yes, you do. In the car before my kid's PTA meeting. Really? Yes. Excuse me, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? I never win and tell. Well, there you have it. You can get lucky anywhere, playing at LuckyLandSlots.com. Play for free right now. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Welcome to the Having It All podcast, the show about what it takes to live an abundant, loving life. My name is Matthew Bivens, and each week I'm helping you get out of your head so that you can truly have it all. Let's do it. What's going on, everybody? Matthew Bivens here, and welcome to the podcast. I'm thrilled to have you. If this is your first time joining me or it's your 10th time, truly, I'm so happy you're here. I'm so happy that you're on this journey of life with me. And that you too want to play for more abundance, more love, and just show up for yourself. You know, make those deposits in yourself and be the most powerful, loving, joyful, fulfilled person that you possibly can. So thank you for joining me on this journey. And man, it's been a it's been quite a week since I published my last episode, which is all about Abundant Love, which was so, it meant a lot for me to share, you know, really meant a lot for me to open up in that way. Um, I've received just tremendous feedback from you all, and I really want to say thank you. Um, Lots of questions, comments, you know, folks have been sharing with me how the episode inspired them, how, you know, Sarah and I were able to just capture some of the things that, that, that you had been thinking and I know what that feels like. You know, I know when when I have listened to something, it's like, wow, they were just in my head. Um, it's very humbling to to you know receive that feedback from you all. And yeah, I'm I'm also inspired. You know, I'm really hearing people who are turning a corner and being able to share who they are, right? Just share who you are authentically, and that's really what that episode was about for me. So. I'm going to do a follow-up. Actually, I'm going to do a follow-up Q&A episode all about abundant love. So please, please, if you have questions, if you have any questions about abundant love, what it is, what it means, what it looks like, any of that stuff, send it to me. Send it to me and I will address all of it. I'll answer all of it in a follow-up Q&A episode. So you can send your emails to mattcbivens at gmail.com. That's the best way to get in touch with me. That's the most direct way. That's my personal email address. And shoot me those questions. And, um, you know, this is really one of those topics that's important enough to open up a dialogue on. And so that's what I want to do. And if you haven't listened to the episode, then I highly recommend you go back and check it out. It's called Being an Abundant Lover, How I Create Healing, Empowering, and Joyful Relationships in and outside of my marriage. And I invited my amazing wife, Sarah, with me on the podcast, and we just opened up, and we really go in on some stuff. So if you haven't listened to it yet, go back. It's the episode that was released just before this one. And yeah, send me your questions, and I'm going to be doing a Q&A. So be on the lookout for that 
in the coming weeks. And today's topic really is equally as powerful because today I want to dive into authenticity, particularly the importance of speaking authentically in every interaction, in every situation. So, you know, I want you to think about for yourself, how often are you speaking your truth? How often are you displaying courage over consideration and sharing, you know, the thoughts, the the feelings, the ideas that are really on your heart? How often do you do that? And how frequently are you being unapologetically you without all the things that we commonly do, say, and wear just to please others. So that's what I'm diving into today. And, you know, it, it, it really has been a huge part of my personal journey of discovering just who the hell Matthew Bivens is and what I'm all about. And <laughs> it's weird referring to myself in the third person right there, but you get the idea, you know, this this journey that we're on to just understand ourselves on a deeper level and then to really be comfortable in our shoes, be comfortable in our skin, be comfortable being who we really are at our core. And that's something that I'm continuing to work on myself daily, it feels like, and just constantly reminding myself you know, after situations, after things happen and asking myself, you know, was I being my most authentic self? HelloFresh takes the guesswork and the extra hassle out of planning and preparing delicious meals for dinner. America's number one meal kit, HelloFresh gives you over 40 recipes to choose from each week. And then your farm fresh pre-portioned seasonal ingredients arrive at your doorstep with simple instructions to help you feel like the master chef of your kitchen. And did you know that HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% less expensive than takeout? HelloFresh has been an awesome addition to our household's dinner routine. We all get involved and cook together, following the pictured step-by-step instructions. It's a fun quality time and the meals are delicious. Give it a try and see for yourself. Go to HelloFresh.com slash 50HavingItAll and use code 50HavingItAll for 50% off plus free shipping. Again, to get 50% off plus free shipping, go to HelloFresh.com slash 50HavingItAll and use code 50HavingItAll. Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered Jumbacasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby, mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa, take it easy, Judy. The Chumba life is for everybody. So go to ChumbaCasino.com and play over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. Voidware prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. I want to kick things off by talking about why it's so important. Because for me, I, I really need to connect with the why, the bigger reason behind doing something before I start down that path. That's just the way that I operate. The why in this case is big. And and the reason why it's so important to show up, particularly to speak authentically and speak with your voice is because the love, the love that we talk about in creating your abundant, loving life, it not only refers to the love that you display others, but the love that you show yourself. And the most powerful way to love on yourself is by holding personal standards and by honoring yourself. And every single time that you speak from your heart, every single time that you share your truth and that you show up authentically you, you are honoring yourself. And that's why this is so important. Because if you're like me and you're playing for love, You're playing to be love, express love, feel love, receive love. Honoring yourself is truly and honestly where it all begins. It all begins internally. And without the internal, all the external stuff is just fluff. It doesn't doesn't truly matter because it's not grounded, right? 
So that's why we we talk about being authentic and showing up authentic. And what I really love is right now in in the news, you know, in this in a national conversation, we're seeing people show up and be authentic and speak authentically and I'm referring to the Parkland students. And whether you agree with them or not, right now they are such a powerful example of of speaking the truth, speaking their truth, sharing authentically and being totally unapologetic about it. And I love that. I really do love that. And you know, they're doing it right now on a national stage with the attention of the world on them. And that's heavy stuff. Those are heavy heavy circumstances. And so we can Again, whether or not you agree with the position and, and all of that, you can still look at what they're doing as an example of what we're talking about in this episode. You know, speaking your truth, standing up for your values and honoring yourself in that way. Because I believe that the students who are speaking out right now and who are sharing truly what's on their heart, if they did not do this, they would feel that nagging sensation you know in their stomach in their spirit on their heart for not speaking and that's something i can i can relate to i know what it's like to be in a situation where you feel compelled to say something you can you feel compelled to do something it's it's that part of you that is just being purely you and when you don't answer that call when you don't say that thing when you don't perform that action you feel a sense of missed opportunity and that can can lead to you carrying around guilt personal shame judgment all of those different things when you don't answer that call when you don't be that authentic version of yourself. If you need to connect with the bigger why on all of this stuff, look to what the Parkland students are doing and look to what it really means to love yourself and to honor yourself. So let's dive into a little bit about what it really means to show up authentically. You know, I've given some examples and, and I, I've shared a couple things, but for me, another way to to really describe what it means is that when you're able to put your stamp on any interaction, the big ones and the small ones, and say that you were truly and honestly being you, and that you weren't guided by fears, particularly the fears of what other people would think. And that's a huge one. That, that stops so many people in their tracks, worrying about what other people think. You know, it's a big part of why we're not authentic. And it, it is connected to judgment because we feel they are going to judge us. But as we know, that judgment, the judgment that we feel other people are going to have against us is really the judgment we already hold against ourselves. And we're simply projecting. That's what we're doing in those situations. So... Showing up authentically means saying what you got to say, being who you need to be, regardless of what the other person is going to say, regardless of how the other person is going to take the information, take the news, take the feedback, take your opinion, whatever it is. Because you honoring yourself is bigger, is more important than you worrying about how they are going to receive it. And for for the people out there who have been at that crossroad where you've been facing an opportunity to speak your truth, yet that part of you in your mind was saying, no, I shouldn't do that because of how the rest of the room is going to take it, but you did it anyway, what happens? Most of the time, the people that you're so afraid of offending are not offended or they don't react in the way you might think they're going to react. And that's because our ego has a great time just building up these fears and making them seem much, much bigger than they actually are. 
and creating a worst case scenario that if you really were to peel back the layers on that worst case scenario, it wouldn't be as terrible as your mind creates it to be. So showing up authentically you and speaking your voice is being able to say, you know what, this interaction I just had, this meeting I just had, this conversation I just had, I can walk away knowing that I was being myself, that I wasn't holding back. And now I do need to put this caveat in there because some of you might be thinking, well, does that mean that in every single interaction, I'm just spouting off, sharing my opinion, telling somebody how I feel about them, giving someone some harsh critical feedback, regardless of the scenario or the situation and without reading the emotion and being tuned in and having that emotional intelligence? No, I'm not saying that at all. Because those things, that's really where maturity comes in. You know, having the awareness and understanding and being able to read the situation to know when you go there, when you go all the way there, or when you maybe hold back a little bit. But there's a difference between holding back because of your emotional intelligence and being able to read a situation versus holding back out of fear. Because I don't think the first one is truly holding back. I think that's you setting the space, you know, creating that environment for authentic sharing to happen. Because absolutely, if you step into a situation and you just go in, boom, and you start giving you know, you're a raw truth to somebody and you start, like, let's say you've got a family member and you don't really like how they've been behaving or you feel yada, yada, yada. And, you know, you're, you're here listening to me and you're thinking, what, I need to go and confront this person and tell them you need to do X, Y, Z or I feel A, B, C. No, because that's where the emotional intelligence kicks in and you're able to look back and understand how they're going to best receive information. And that's where your maturity kicks in to understand this is what needs to happen before I go in and speak my voice. And so what does it actually look like? You know, what does it look like? Because it can look different in across many different situations. Sometimes it looks like sharing your opinion. Sometimes maybe a person even asks you your opinion. And in the past, you wouldn't fully share it because you were judging it. You were judging how you felt about something and so you felt they might judge it as well. And so you hold back. Sometimes it looks like giving bold feedback to somebody. You know, maybe a person isn't showing up powerfully or they aren't being that person who they say they're going to be or they're always trying to, you know, find the back doors and loopholes around things. Being your authentic self and, and sharing you know, your voice and speaking your voice sometimes means saying, hey, hold up, listen, I see what you're up to. And right now, that's, that does, I'm not inspired by that. So it, it, it can look like many different things. And sometimes it, it, it looks like having you know, a powerful insight. Let's say you're a coach or you're a teacher or you're a mentor or You have people who are watching you. Sometimes it looks like having that powerful insight that helps somebody just get it and turn a corner, you know? And that's, that's what, that's what we, when we're in those teacher, coach, mentor roles, that's one of the big things that we're there to do. Drop that nugget of information and watch a person turn the corner. But sometimes being authentic and, and really showing up for yourself is all about creating the space. You know, asking questions and really helping that person to feel comfortable to then share themselves. So it looks different in different situations. And that's where becoming more in tune with your own intuition really comes into play. Because as you become more in tune with your intuition, you're able to listen to it and trust it. It's going to guide you in different directions. You'll feel pulled to do something or to say something, or you'll feel pulled to listen. And that's really when when things start to flow in terms of you being your authentic self. That's a whole other episode all in of itself, you know, being able to tap in and trust 
your intuition. So now, how do you practice speaking your voice? How do you practice showing up authentically? You know, like I said, there are big moments when this is going to present itself to you. Big moments with your spouse, with your family, with your closest friends, when, you know, you're going to feel that gravity. You're going to feel, you know, your body might respond in, in, uh, in, in certain ways, like an elevated heartbeat, or you might get hot. You know, that's when you know, wow, okay, this is really when I have a chance to speak up and to truly share. With the Lucky Land Slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. This is your captain speaking. Uh, we've got clear runway and the weather's fine, but we're just going to circle up here a while and uh, get lucky. No, no, nothing like that. It's just these cash prizes add up quick. So I suggest you sit back, keep your tray table upright, and start getting lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandslots.com. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Baker's always gives you savings and rewards on top of our lower than low prices. And when you download the Baker's app, you can enjoy over $500 in savings every week with digital coupons. Plus, you can earn fuel points to save up to $1 per gallon at the pump. So it's easy to save big. Baker's, fresh for everyone. Savings may vary by state. Fuel restrictions apply. We've locked in low prices to help you save big store-wide. Look for the locked in low prices tags and enjoy extra savings throughout the store. Baker's, fresh for everyone. But it also happens in small moments, in, in small conversations, in quick interactions with people. So being able to practice speaking your voice first is really having awareness of where you're not currently speaking your voice. Because that's, those are great opportunities, you know, when you realize like at work, maybe you're, you're in a meeting and people are giving their opinion and people are sharing and people are tossing ideas in a pot, but you tend to hold back because you don't want the room to feel like your idea is foolish. That's an opportunity for you to speak your voice. That's an opportunity for you to show up authentically. Or maybe you've got a spouse who, you know, likes to talk about certain things at the dinner table and, you know, you really feel the energy drain in the room. Maybe they're the type of person who's uh, glass half empty and they want to talk about all of the things that are just pulling them down and all the things that are wrong with the world and all, you know, you know that, that whole spiel. Well, speaking your truth might, mean, might be you saying, hey, listen, I understand that, that that's how you're feeling right now. And I want to give you the space to, to share and get it off your chest. But I'm not interested in having this conversation throughout our entire dinner. So you've got three minutes. <laughs> Go. That can be you speaking your voice because that right there is an example of you honoring your boundaries. And if we go back to the bigger why, you know, the why that all this is so important, it's because it's you loving yourself, you honoring yourself, you having standards for yourself, for what you will accept, what you will tolerate, and you holding those standards. So practicing speaking your voice, practicing showing up authentically you really comes down to the situation. But there are opportunities throughout your entire day to share. You know, I know for me, I had a half dozen of them before, before it hit, the day hit noon. I had a morning marketing meeting with a team of people where we're talking about an idea, but it just kind of felt like we were going around in circles. It was stuff that we had talked about before. And I said, you know, I don't want to speak for the group, but there's something deeper to all of this that we're just missing. Like I'm feeling it in my gut. Like I'm not inspired by this conversation. I'm not excited by this conversation. And if we are to execute this idea in the way that we're talking about it, I'm going to be completely bored with this. Fast forward a few hours later, I'm I'm talking to uh, a group of podcaster friends and, you know, we're talking about how to improve one person's show and I felt myself not really wanting to give him that feedback because he's older than me, he's old enough to be my father and I was intimidated. I was intimidated thinking that, you know, I'm not experienced enough, I'm too young, all of that stuff, all the stuff that the ego cooks up. You know how great our ego is at cooking all that stuff up but I didn't want to share. 
And then I recognized, hey, listen, this is an opportunity for me to speak my truth. And so I shared some feedback with him. You know, maybe the title of your show needs to change. Maybe the direction of your show needs to change because it doesn't sound like it is authentically you and your message. And guess what? It resonated. That's what I was saying before. A lot of the times, the reason why we're holding back from speaking our voice and being our true selves is because we fear how the other person is going to take it. But typically, that's our mind building mountains out of molehills. It's our mind creating these obstacles that are just high enough for us to not want to try to climb over them. Just scary enough for us to not take a step forward. But when we do, when we say, you know what, I'm not going to listen to my fears, I'm not going to listen to my ego, and when we step forward anyway, we discover that, well, the people just aren't as offended as we thought they would be. And there are some incredible, incredible ripple effects from speaking your voice and showing up authentically you. And I think the biggest one is that you begin to trust yourself more. You begin to trust yourself more. And when you trust yourself more, your confidence increases. You begin to realize that you are far more capable than you give yourself credit for. And we are so hard on ourselves. We completely underestimate our capabilities, our intelligence, our strength, our stamina, our courage, all of that. We completely underestimate ourselves. We count ourselves out. We sell ourselves short. But when you begin to practice in just small ways, speaking your voice, showing up for yourself, honoring yourself, your trust goes up, your confidence goes up. And then with that confidence, you realize, like I said, you are more capable than you give yourself credit for, that you can hold your own in a room full of people who might have previously intimidated the heck out of you. Because each of us has wisdom. You know, we're we're here trying to seek wisdom externally. If you're listening to my show, then chances are you have gone down the path of personal development. Maybe you've been doing it for years. Maybe you're just fresh on it. But down that path, we are seeking some sort of wisdom. We want somebody to tell us that thing that's going to shift our lives. Tell us that one thing that's going to make everything click and now, oh man, I figured out my purpose. I know what I need to do with my life. I found my voice. Oh my gosh, I have that tool. I have that thing that I need to be able to accomplish the thing that I tell myself that I want to accomplish. However, we have wisdom. We have wisdom. We've experienced things. You know, you have learned things. You failed in your life and you've fallen down and you've figured out how to get back up. And there's powerful wisdom in that. Yet you don't trust your wisdom enough. You feel that, you know, well, shoot, I'll just say for myself, I feel that I'm not old enough to know what I'm talking about. I feel that I haven't, I haven't suffered enough to be able to help somebody else heal. I feel that I haven't learned enough to be able to teach another person how to walk in my footsteps or how to walk a path for their own growth and transformation. And all of that is bullshit. It is complete bullshit. And as we trust ourselves, as we honor ourselves, as our confidence grows, all of that bullshit starts to shrink. It starts to not have as big of an impact on our thoughts, on our behavior, on the habits that we start to form. As we respect and as we honor ourselves and as we show up for ourselves more powerfully, we begin to align more and things start to flow. And, you know, if you're like me and you're looking for evidence of that, well, it's all around you. You just simply need to look for it. And also, there's a big component of having that faith that I talked about. Having that trust and surrendering. Surrendering those fears. 
surrendering that need to to you know make your ego feel better all of that stuff you will only win by speaking your voice and showing up authentically sometimes in the short term it might suck you know there might be people who are going to resist and push back because they're used to you being a certain way they're used to you going along with everything that they have to say they're used to you being a doormat in some circumstances. They're used to you not speaking up. And so when you start to rep that, when you start to practice that, some people might push back. And that's fine because you know when they're pushing back, you're on to something. And that's when you keep going forward. So I would love, love, love to hear your examples of when you have spoken your voice and when you have shown up authentically and just powerfully for yourself, when you have honored yourself, what has happened? Particularly speaking your voice. I want to hear about those moments when you had something you wanted to say and boy, you just wanted to keep it in because you were so scared, but you let it out. I want to hear what happened. And if you have examples of, you know, maybe you're in a space where you're willing to share how you feel when you've held on to those things because you want to heal from that and you want to release that, share those with me as well. Let's keep this conversation going and let's learn from one another. So reach out, hit me up, mattcbivens at gmail.com. I would love to hear from you. And, you know, all of this stuff is so important because as we play for these abundant, loving lives, let's remember Let's remember that, that this stuff we're talking about, having it all, starts inside. It always starts inside. Our growth, our happiness, our healing, our peace, our joy, our fulfillment always starts inside. So, thank you so much for just hanging out with me on this podcast episode. And you rock totally inspired by you. Wouldn't be here without you. My name is Matthew Bivens, and here is to you having it all. Quick note about the Having It All podcast. I am not a doctor nor a licensed therapist. I'm a guy with a story and a passion for conscious conversation. My thoughts, opinions, and beliefs are my own. So please consult with your doctor or healthcare provider regarding any questions or issues you have related to your personal, physical, or mental health. Attention Baker shoppers. Did you know there's a world of innovative services and patient care right in store? It's where an award-winning pharmacy and nationally recognized care come together. Connect with one of our licensed pharmacists today at your local Baker's and experience the care you and your family deserve. Bakers, a world of care is in store. Services and availability vary by location. Age and other restrictions may apply. For coverage, consult your health insurance company. Visit the pharmacy or our site for details.